Before you check your brake fluid, stop and clean off that cap. Welcome back to your home garage and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to check your brake fluid along with some other information that you may not have been aware of. Without brake fluid, there's no way for the pressure you apply with your feet to make it to the brakes. Typical brake line pressures during a stop range from 800 psi under normal conditions to as much as 2000 psi under a hard stop. An advantage of brake fluid over a strictly mechanical option is the driver doesn't feel the strong forces at work on the brake pads, where temperatures can soar around 800 degrees Fahrenheit or 427 degrees Celsius. As useful as brake fluid is, it still requires regular maintenance, just like your other fluids such as coolant or motor oil. For most vehicles, it's recommended to change your brake fluid every one to two years. The owner's manual will have specific information for your vehicle. To check your fluid level, you'll need to let your car cool down if it's been running. Next, locate the brake fluid reservoir. The owner's manual should tell you the specific location for your particular vehicle, but in most vehicles, you can find it on the driver's side near the firewall. The reservoir itself is relatively small compared to other reservoirs and has a screw cap on it. It might not say brake fluid, but you should see various instructions on the cap, the reservoir, or both. These instructions tell you to clean off the cap before opening it, while the others tell you what dot type of brake fluid to use. Cleaning off the cap before you open it will help to keep your brake fluid clean and free of any contaminants, including moisture, which can make your brakes work less effectively and even corrode the interior of your brake system. It could even lead to the failure of your anti-lock brake system. So be safe, take a clean rag, and wipe off any loose particles from the cap. Brake fluid's big issue is whether to use glycol or silicone-based brake fluid. They don't play well together, so knowing which one you use is critical for the performance of your brakes. Brake fluid is referred to by its dot number and can be found in multiple varieties, though most passenger vehicles take either dot 3 or dot 4. The dot refers to the Department of Transportation, which issues detailed standards for all motor vehicles brake fluids. DOT-5 uses silicone instead of glycol, which is now the standard for most military vehicles. For race cars and show cars, you'll want to go with this type because unlike glycol, it won't eat through the paint of your car. Beyond that, the big difference between the categories are as follows. First, there's the boiling point. The higher the DOT number, the higher the boiling point. Remember, the temperature can reach up to around 800 degrees Fahrenheit or 427 degrees Celsius. While it's important to note that these high temperatures are only where the wheels make contact with the brake pads, not the brake fluid itself, some of that heat is being transferred into the fluid, which means that the fluid needs to be stable in order to function. Second, glycol-based brake fluid is hydrophobic, meaning it already absorbs moisture found in the air. If moisture gets into the brake fluid, it can compromise it and then ruin the fluid. So don't dawdle and keep your fluid tightly closed until you're ready to check it. Now saying that, since it's hard to keep moisture out, the fluid is designed to absorb small amounts that reach it and still do its job. The downside of this is the more moisture that gets into your brake fluid, the lower its boiling point. Silicone-based fluid does not absorb water, but rather separates out the dense water and lets it settle to the bottom of your master cylinder, leaving your brake fluid to operate in its purest form and keeping its boiling point high. Now comes the fun part. Twist off the fluid reservoir cap, locate the dipstick, and wipe it off with a clean, dry rag. Screw it back on, then off, and then look at the dipstick. See where the line is between the bottom wet part and the dry part is. As the line should be somewhere between the add and the fall marks, as the brake pads wear down, the brake fluid will drop slightly. This is natural and is not something to worry about. Brake fluid is something that doesn't get consumed, so if it's reading slightly below the add mark, then you probably have a leak. If this is the case, check it immediately as the brakes are at risk of failure. Look at the fluid to see if it's dark or clear. Dark fluid indicates significant contamination in the fluid, and you might consider getting your brakes either flushed or bled. You can also check the color based on the dot type. If your brakes feel spongy when you depress the pedal, you probably have air in the system. Because air is much more compressible than liquid, the force from your foot just won't be delivered effectively to the brake pad. 
This alone is a good reason to check your brake system. Now, if your brakes are working properly and the fluid looks clear and close to the add mark, you should just go ahead and just add a little bit of brake fluid. But never fill the reservoir above the full mark as this could cause damage to your brake system or cause it to overflow. This is bad for a couple of reasons. Brake fluid is incredibly corrosive and toxic. And besides eating the paint off your car, it can actually lead to blindness and other ailments if it contacts your skin. So use protective gloves and always wear eye protection. Now your brake fluid should last one to two years, but it's in your best interest to check it once a month to make sure that the level is adequate and the fluid is clean, especially before heading out on a long road trip or towing something. There you have it, some of the major points surrounding the servicing and checking of your brake fluid. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend. Also, please comment below as I reply to all. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage. Mm -hmm.